I needed a gift and thrifting gave me the help I required. I wanted to make a painting for my son's girlfriend who is now his fiance. I came across this beautiful stamp set while I was out thrifting and it didn't come with a slip cover so I have no idea who made it. So if you know who made this stamp set, if you're familiar with it, could you please let me know so that I could give them the proper credit. I decided against the first stamp set I was considering and decided on the mermaid because in my mind I think most girls at one time or another have wanted to be a mermaid. The first thing I'm doing is deciding how I want to lay out my scene. I then take out my set of Faber-Castell watercolor pencils and grab my VersaFine Tuxedo Black stamp pad which I think works perfectly for any water-based project. The first thing I'm doing is brushing on some clean water onto the areas where I want to put the blue paint. I had some beautiful blue paint on my palette from a previous project and it's from my Magello Mission Gold watercolor set. I took out a different set of watercolors that I have to do the sand at the bottom of the ocean. I'm using different color stamp pads for the assorted elements I want to add. Some of these stamp pads are almost as old as my youngest son and they're still going strong.
Now I'm going to let you enjoy the coloring of the mermaid. Please make sure to like and subscribe. There is no cost to you for subscribing, but it does help out my channel. I purposefully left part of the stamp not imprinted to place another piece of coral or whatever that is overlapping it and now I'm drawing in the missing pieces so it looks a little more co cohesive. I thought these opalescent paints would make the mermaid look like she really had scales and that's why I chose to color with them but I, I'm not sure how I feel about it. I, I think they had a little bit more opacity than I expected and they kind of color, covered up my initial coloring.
A while ago, I thrifted this nice frame, knowing that I could use it to gift my artwork to my friends and family, and this was the perfect occasion to use it. I almost forgot that I wanted to put little dots uh, so that it appears like there's sand down at the bottom of the ocean and that's what the little dots are for. The frame is a good quality frame. It's not perfect and that's okay, but I just wanted to spruce it up just a little bit. If you liked the video you saw, click on this one next.